Hello, good morning, battery lovers. Uh, we have worked a long time and bought a lot from Donghuang Dolly, and we really like their BMS. And there are a lot of rumors going around that all of them are crap and uh, that they don't cut off at uh, any voltage. From what I know, we had one such BMS. Things can also happen to a BMS during use, and if your BMS doesn't cut off, most likely you switched up some wires. The most common problem we've seen, a problem I've done once or twice, is uh, is confusing these two wires. Battery miners should always go to the battery miners, and this is for discharging. But if you switch them and have the black one going to the battery miners, which seems logical, it's a black wire, you will have no low voltage protection. We don't work as much with this uh, dual wire, which have both charging and discharging in the same port. But this is one of the few defective Dolly BMSs we have. And this has been used for several years. And the problem was, we don't know the full story. It's for an electric moped. Maybe there was some short circuit or something. But the indicator in the battery prevented the BMS from starting up. And even when we remove the indicator, this one wouldn't activate the full voltage. So I'm go gonna open it up and see if we can uh, learn anything. It's gonna cut off this a little bit. And it was a while since I opened one of these. Jesus. Thermal paste for the MOSFETs and these are getting fairly hot so having cracks doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, one time I opened a Husqvarna BMS. <laughs> yeah, though those are really expensive, most likely built by BMZ and they've drenched everything in silicone and one component was super hot, like 100 degrees and it, it were actually bubbles about that component. So let's see if we can get this open. Well, I do believe the people that are having faulty Dolly BMS out there that there are problems and it doesn't even mean that they're fake. Uh, anyone can order from Dolly and get their name on it. I haven't asked what MMQ is to have their name. Um, but there are a lot of companies like Dolly Green and similar that order with their name. And as you well know, there aren't like you cannot buy do-it-yourself Bosch BMS and put in your e-bike. There are no big brands like Samsung making BMS for the do-it-yourself community. All of these companies are in China and the only BMS maker I know of that makes BMS for the industry that's not from China is Texas Instrument, but they're probably manufacturing it in China as well. Bosch probably makes their BMS in Germany so that the Chinese doesn't steal their secrets. So you're gonna have to trust some Chinese company uh, with your battery handling. And then Dolly is is the best, at least if you're concerned about price. I've seen other people talking about other companies, but they're making large current life before smart BMS that costs like 200 euros or more. And we really don't uh, need this type of BMS. We want cheap, reliable, working 250 watt e-bike batteries. And sometimes like this for electric mopeds. And I bought so many BMS from so many vendors on AliExpress and uh, there are only a few that I trust. And if you don't want Dolly, then go to Ant Power. That's where I started. They make really good BMS, uh, but they're not a manufacturer and so you can't get a really good price. And they don't op offer a lot of options, but they have every BMS you need for most electric uh, bikes. And as you might know, China is a bit different. Bosch tests all of their products and if some of the products doesn't pass all the tests, then they are 100% scrapped. But in China, it doesn't work like that. If you have QC failed products, there are probably different grades, like it doesn't work at all, or it works poorly. Maybe the balancing is not optimal or anything like that. Most Chinese products that don't pass QC tests are sold. And these Chinese companies doesn't know what the other company will do with it. Some might take them apart and for the metals and other might sell them to more price competitive market like the ones in Asia. And many of these BMS that 
didn't pass the test end up on sites like Wish and AliExpress and Banggood and are being sold as genuine BMS but uh, failed. Uh, the only thing I can see right now is it's a little bit yellow here uh, but those are the balancing uh, resistors so they should be fairly hot around here. So if you have a problem with your Dolly BMS you can email me but I won't answer you unless you give me an actual product link on where you bought it. If you bought just one piece from any of these consumer sites they are most likely buying B grade or C grade which I know a lot of you in the LFP community understand. That stuff that didn't pass the QC test. And it's great that these are being resold instead of scrapped so that people can get cheap batteries that might not last for 20 years, only like 15. But when it comes to electronics, you probably want to pay a little bit more for something that is uh, QC passed. And the only way you're going to get that is either buying directly from the manufacturer or buying from someone, someone that you know buys directly from the manufacturer. Of course you can find this kind of BMS on AliExpress as well that is QC passed but there's no way to tell them apart except for that the one selling real Dolly BMS those are probably more expensive and you are probably gonna buy from the one that has the best price right then you're most likely gonna get counterfeits or fakes or QC fails you can of course get a good good BMS if you're lucky that might only have minor defects like the balancing is uh, a little little bit slower or something like that or you might get a BMS that doesn't cut off the voltage when it need to and then it can be pretty dangerous so where you buy your dolly or any other type of BMS matters oh this actually works as uh, screws as well so that this was so hard and here we can see eight additional MOSFETs so it really does have enough MOSFETs for 60 amps and I have nothing better to do so we're gonna do this side as well because it was a while since I actually opened it up will have to do and uh, the only thing I suspicious I can think of is uh, these resistors I don't know I will just add a bigger resistor on some of the slots one two three four five six seven eight this part is a little bit yellowish according to me otherwise the MOSFETs look really good one 104 runs uh, loose one a B so we'll look at the other side and uh, maybe output for an NTC all MOSFETs look good except for this one but okay <laughs> that leg went up probably when I removed silicon this one actually is a little bit harder to read so maybe this MOSFET was damaged okay here you have um, th this one actually has um, possibility to have dual resistors for double balancing and since it's so tight in space uh, half of the resistor is on one side that's why so many are missing so it should be nine on this side one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so let's profound just measure the resistance because I think you can tell if a MOSFET is bad if it doesn't have the same resistance as the other and that you can't see because it's too zoomed in like one mega ohm so it's extremely high resistance and this seems to be open line but if I measure underneath it's almost one mega ohm one mega ohm so I don't know I don't know enough to tell what was wrong but maybe you can and that's why I'm doing this this is how it looks on the inside and now Yuki boy is here <laughs> 